Alright, hey, Hades Omega here, and welcome to another Hades Omega RAV4 Prime video, alright? And in this video, we'll be installing the Giandel 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter. Alright, so Hades Omega is finally going to get an inverter for his RAV4, so I don't have to take my freaking gas portable gasoline generator places with me anymore, man. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the buddy. Um, my reasoning is, uh, when I go camping, or I go to the racetrack, uh, I need some kind of power to use, like tire warmers or battery chargers and stuff like that and and I take a, a portable gas generator to do that all right and then like I'm usually my vehicle is right next in my pit area all right the vehicle is the pit area <laughs> type of thing all right and like well why take another freaking uh, gas generator when I got a a ginormous gas generator on the RAV4 Prime all right so in the in the front engine bay lives a 2.5 liter engine all right that can act as a generator, right? So that's uh, that's Hades Omega's reasoning for that, all right? <laughs> the, uh, I think the XSC model with the premium package, all right? I think you have to get the premium XSC model RAV4 Prime, and it'll come with the 1500 watt inverter, all right? Um, and so Hades Omega got the SE, I, I don't have it, all right? So this is the next best thing. Basically, we're just gonna install this. We're gonna hook it up to the uh, 12 volt battery, all right? The uh, it's not the hybrid battery, it's the accessory battery, all right, or auxiliary battery, all right, and it lives right here in the back of the vehicle, all right, so it makes it convenient for all the wiring and stuff, and then we're going to install an outlet somewhere. Um, I watched RAV4 Primer's video, all right, he's this Canadian RAV4 Prime owner that, um, that installed the same thing, all right, so, and so I use his, I'm kind of using his video as a template, all right, um, except he's in Canada and I'm in the U.S., okay, so... <laughs> And uh, I'll, I'll put a link, uh, I'll put links in the description of the video where I get all these parts, all right, and the tools I need to, to do it, all right, um, and then yeah, so let's get this done, all right, but anyway, this is the inverter right here, we'll take a closer look at all the goodies right now, all right. Okay, so um, I'm working on it, guys, I'm still working on it, but so the, uh, the RAV4 that has the, uh, the premium package it has the um the inverter there's an outlet right here okay so i'm i'm working on buying the trim piece here that has the outlet all right i don't think it comes with the outlet but i think um it's gonna be there's gonna be an outlet here and then there's gonna be this 12 volt outlet right here so there'll be there'll be two outlets here basically okay and then um and then i bought this the the outlet for it and then so all I have to do is wire that to the inverter, all right? So if I can get that, I've, I've got it on order. I've, I ordered it from Stevens Creek Toyota, and they, uh, they, they couldn't get it, all right? So I ordered it from another place online, another Toyota place online, and then we'll see if they can get it, all right? But it's still, they're still looking for it type of thing, all right? So that could be, in the, in the future, we might, I, that, that'll be a future project to make an outlet right here to make it look just like OEM. But for now, what we can do is uh, just like uh, RAV4 Primer did is we can drill a hole right here, all right, and then we'll stick an outlet right here. Um, I think that'll be okay. And then, yeah, so for a future project, we'll sell outlet here. We'll try to make it look like the OEM outlet, okay? So then we'll have outlets on both sides. We'll have one here, and we'll have one here, and then it's good enough for me. <laughs> all right. All right, here we are. So these are all the goodies that I've assembled to do this inverter install. All right, so the inverter is right here. We'll take a closer look at it. Well, let's take a look at the other stuff. Um, the next important thing is the wiring. Okay, guys. So for 1,200 watts, let me see here. Okay, so for the wiring, I did some Google Foo. All right, and so a little bit of math. All right, so we've got a. This is a 1,200 uh, watt inverter. All right, it can do 1,200 watts, and 2400 watts surge okay um, but 1200 watts continuous all right so that's that's what we want to aim for so what we're going to do is we're going to bust out the calculator here we've got 1200 watts all right and we're this is a 12 volts inverter so we're going to find out how much current is needed to power this inverter at full power all right so to do that we take our 1200 watts and and if you guys know the equation for for power all right power is um current times voltage all right all right current times voltage is power all right power is in watts 
all right and voltage is in volts all right so we're um, so by doing some algebra we can find out how many amps we're uh, we need all right so that's 1200 watts divided by 12 volts all right that wire is going to put out uh, you're going to be putting out 100 amps of current on that wire so you need a pretty thick wire all right i looked it up on google all right so to run 100 amps through a wire you need two gauge wire all right this is what you need two gauge all right um so that's why i bought this wire um i think this wire is inadequate but i bought a used inverter and the previous owner did something um what is it they did something clever all right instead of using one set of wire they use two sets of wire so you can do that also but i opted for just to get this two gauge wire i can use it for another project or something okay um so i got this on amazon i'll put a i'll put i've got most of this stuff on amazon i'll put a link in the description where you can get this stuff if you want to do what i'm doing okay um so i think the terminals on the on the inverter are 5 16 okay according to rav4 primer so that's why i bought 5 16 um, ring terminals okay and then it comes with 3 8 terminals i think the 3 8 will be fine for the 12 volt battery okay so this is going to go to the 12 volt battery this is going to go to the inverter i've already terminated it as you can see because i shot a video using this guy all right so this is what we use to terminate it all right it's the uh temco uh, hammer lug crimper all right so my suggestion is to get one of these you could use you can use a torch okay that's what a hades mega has been using a torch but then i decided hey i want to buy one of these all right and so this is the proper way to terminate it use a crimper okay there's a number of different crimpers but this is the one that i'm going to use okay um, i'll put a link in the description where you can get this guy okay and then I've got some large wire strippers here. All right, so all this stuff is just to work with the big wires, okay? <laughs> um, and also, I think this is a 10 feet, 10 feet of this wire. They sell it as a kit. I believe it comes with, uh, it comes with the 3 8 lugs. It comes with the uh, two gauge cable, all right? You get a red and a black, that's perfect. That's just what we need. And then you get a red and a black uh, a shrink tubing for that, okay? So, and that's and that's how I term This is what it's gonna look like when you terminate it, all right? We still have to do the other side, all right? And then so another thing that we need to install is, whoosh, fuses, all right? I bought these fuses. I think they're 125 amp fuses. Yeah, okay, so if it goes past 125 amps, this thing will trip okay um it's because it's supposed to be like 100 amps right well anyway um if you go if you go over 125 amps i know it should, it should be 100 amp <laughs> it should be 100 amps man but that's what rav4 primer use he use 125 I, I think that's fine um it's a little over gauged for the wire but hopefully that doesn't start a fire or anything <laughs> okay um the and and you know what when if you overload the inverter you, it's not gonna um it's not gonna output it's just gonna um just die okay or it'll you're, you'll just overload it all right and then it'll it won't run anymore so but um but yeah i think but for safety we're gonna add a fuse to it okay um this comes in a pack of two uh, but uh you can um and we're just gonna this just screws onto the the wire we just strip it and then clamp it onto the wire okay um okay and then what else uh we need uh we need some uh wire cutters i bought this just for this project guys <laughs> i got this from harbor freight all right it's a uh, cable cutter all right large wire these are the, these are this is the proper tool for cutting this wire all right hey Mega has been working with one knot wire for my solar panel thing and i've just been cutting it with a um a wire um a wheel all right <laughs> a cutting wheel all right but this is the proper tool to cut it with right here okay and uh and then i need a there we're gonna install an outlet all right just like the one rad4 primer installed all right it's a furniture socket extender all right it's basically uh, you're gonna um we're gonna drill a hole all right in the trim with this all right it's a two inch hole saw all right we're gonna drill a two two hole two inch hole all right we're cut a two inch hole into the trim and then stick this in it all right and then plug it into the inverter all right i think it should work out pretty well all right so that's the 
that's the most of the stuff uh, I would still have to uh, we still need a wire to make the ground cable okay and that one can be much smaller than this okay um, but uh, we'll we'll work on that when we get there okay um, anyway let's go take a look at the inverter and then we'll figure out how we're gonna install this bad boy all right uh, we're basically gonna follow what um, RAV4 primer did all right okay there it is Jandel power inverter all right this is a rec uh, uh, high quality recommended inverter by even Will Prouse himself. Because <laughs> it's the funny thing is, the person I bought this off of on eBay, they mentioned Will Prouse. All right, Hazemag is a little bit, a little bit of Hazemag is a big fan of Will Prouse. All right, so I was like, oh yeah, it's good. If it's good enough for Will Prouse, it's good enough for me. All right, so here it is. It's made by a company called Jiandel Power Inverter. I think it's made in China. Um, so here's some specs on the side here, then we'll go open it up. It's a pure sine wave inverter, all right? That's the one that you want. I think the other one is a modified sine wave. The pure sine wave is, you know, it's better for sensitive electronics type stuff. And I think that can, it's more efficient than a, a modified sine wave. Okay, it says it has uh, output sockets that look like that. That's a North American standard right there. Uh, output voltage is 110 to 120 volts at 60 hertz. All right, that's the North American standard. Uh, DC volt uh, input voltage is DC 12 volts. All right, so that's perfect. Our battery is 12 volts. The one that the um, the auxiliary battery is 12 volts in the Rav4 Prime. All right, features it says it can do 1200 watts continuous power and up to 2400 watts surge power. All right, the surge power is when when you start an appliance up, sometimes there's a big surge in voltage or power, and then and then it settles. All right, so um, if you're running like the max power, if you're running like something that's 1,200 watts, um, it'll there'll be a surge. All right, so it might not start the appliance. All right, but man, it, it can do double. All right, <laughs> all right, but only for a little bit, only for a little bit. Okay, uh, remote controller with wire. It's a temperature control cooling fan, and it has a soft start and low interference technologies. It says THD is greater than 3%. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, five, and there's five kinds of protection, all right? So probably heat, overcurrent, overvoltage, uh, un undervoltage, <laughs> okay? So that kind of stuff, all right? And I think that's it. Here it says power inverter. I notice a lot of uh, the Amazon stuff has this stuff, that kind of label on it, all right? And here it says it's ISO 9001 certified, made in China, like I said. All right, a AIG product liability insurance is covered by AIG. Interesting. I don't know why that says, <laughs> why it says, talking about insurance and all that. All right, let's go open it up. Also, if you want to learn how to use these tools, all right, the, the hammer lug crimper or the big wire strippers, um, this is a Jokari wire stripper for the um, for the big wires. Um, I have uh, I have videos I can put at the end of the uh, I'll put links at the end of the video um, about these tools. All right, if you want to learn about these more in depth. All right, but it's on my other channel. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go bust it out. Okay, there it is. Let's get it out of the box. All right, I can't wait to get this thing out of my garage. Kind of takes up a lot of space. All right, so this is the inverter right here. Take it out of the packaging. It's been used, unfortunately, but hopefully it's still in good shape. I did actually test it before, all right? I hooked it up to a jumper battery and it works fine, okay? So there it is, that's the unit in there. And so the beauty of this, uh, what, yeah, one of the re main reasons I, I watched, I bought this after watching RAV4 Primer's video is because uh, he was able to fit this underneath the, the, um, the rear cargo cover, okay? Where, where you got the spare tire it'll it'll fit under there no problem all right so oh well yeah we have to move some stuff but we'll, we'll you'll see that when we get there okay um and then there's the switch all right it's kind of ugly i don't know if i'm going to use it for now i think i'm just going to leave this underneath the the cover for now okay and then um and then these are some battery cables these actually came with it i think um the wires that come with this are un are not the right size wires, all right. But um, these wires came with it, all right. So, so the theoretically, we could use these, all right. I think these are four gauge wires. It doesn't say. 
they're kind of lightweight too I don't know. but yeah um if you um so what the previous owner did is they used two wires all right instead of a uh, one uh, one set of wires all right two they used two sets of wires so it can handle two times the current all right but instead we're just going to use a two gauge wire all right so we're not going to use these so dump those i could probably use it for another project maybe okay there's a manual here there's a warranty card okay 18 month warranty but it's probably it's used already so i don't think i and then uh yeah this is another warranty info right here okay okay so here's the inverter all right 1200 watts pure sine wave 12 volts input and 120 volts output 60 hertz and it does have a usb output so um yeah we can install a usb outlet also on the outside because there's no usb outlet back here <laughs> okay um, okay so here's the uh here's the important parts right here all right there's a power button here there's a usb port this is the remote control plugs in all right um this uh is a little gauge here i think it tells you your voltage or something um there's input output in kilowatts and output in watts hmm, that's interesting i wonder how i wonder how that works <laughs> that's a good question well i guess we'll find out um and there's this is the ground lug right here all right so this is where we'd attach the ground wire okay it's just got a little thumb screw on there it's got 220 volt out ac outlets okay so one of these will be for that um extension wire that we're going to install on the left and then what later when i um well you, we, you just plug anything in here okay <laughs> but, but later i'm gonna make another extension for the uh for the right side all right using the stock trim okay all right there's the bottom there something there's some cancer causing stuff in it and what what doesn't cause cancer man <laughs> now there's a there's a cooling fan here and then this is your positive and negative. They're gonna to go to the batteries, all right? And these are the thumb screws. Okay, and I, I think RAV4 primer said they're 5 /16s. All right, but to test it out. Oh, there, perfect, all right? It's a little loose, but that'll do the trick. All right, it's better than the 3 8 one. <laughs> the 3 8 one, I think the 3, the, this one is like a 3 8 right here. See how loose this is? Yeah, that's that. We don't want that. All right. Yeah, I know, right? So I guess if you were to use this, you want to make sure like it's on one of the ends when you put it in, okay? But this is a uh, more proper, all right? Um, so this is going to be in your, this is going to be in your vehicle, and your vehicle is going to be bumping, bumping around, and you know you're going to hit potholes and stuff, and it vibrates a lot. So you want you want something to be on there really secure, okay? And, and so this will do the trick right here, okay? Okay, so now let's go figure out where we're going to install this, and then uh, we'll we'll go install it. All right, all right. 